Finally. What we have here? The house being built. I bet they saw this cliff and thought it was not dangerous enough without people living on it. <sighs> ah, the optimist this one is. Is he crying? What's happening? Having a rest. There's a uh, river. No, Isabel. I'm guessing Nick's wife. Nick called and said I should come. I brought you pickled olives. They're your favourite, right? Chuck's on the ground. I heard about river. Will she be okay? Her illness was just diagnosed in its late stages. Fortunately, it's treatable. But the medical bills... We can't afford to finish building this house, Isabel. We can barely afford to pay for her treatment. I'm just relieved that she'll be okay, but... You don't know how much this place means to her. She's going to be heartbroken. I'd help, but Ted and I have been barely getting by since the market crashed. What are you going to do now? I'm, I'm going to tell her that we can make it. I'm going to tell her whether we can afford everything. I don't want her to do anything crazy. You shouldn't lie to her. You don't understand, Isabel. If she found out, I'm not sure which she'd choose. So what? If she chooses not to save herself for the sake of this place, then so be it. It's what she really wants. I really dislike when you neurotypicals think you know what's best for others. I hate when you call me that, Izzy. Do you think this is all about her? About me, Isabel. For all these years, am I not allowed to be selfish even once? I don't want to be alone, Isabel. I'm not going to let her die. It's arrogant. I don't care. Where are you going? I'm going to pick something from this cliff to bring back to her. It'll at least give her some comfort. That doesn't make what you're doing any less wrong. Nick wanted me to give you this. He said it's called Everything's Alright. It isn't. Some memories, all right. Oh. Uh. Can I not get over there anymore? Does she count as a memory? Uh, 
Why is she in all this? Is she home? Like, they're all home, I guess. the truck. That's really going for it, huh? Yeah, the construction's starting in just a few months. It's a bit of a squeeze, we had to split the payment. But with financing, we'll make do. How wonderful, having a dream house built at such a beautiful site. You had your wedding at that lighthouse near that there all those years ago, didn't you? It's not all that's special about it. A long history with that place. Well, it's good to have some good news at a get-together for once. Cheers and congratulations, you two. Hey, cheers. Be right back. I'm gonna get some fresh air. Me too. And they're gonna talk about the illness before John hears about it. I can almost... Oh, buddy, it's sure been a while. Hasn't it? You know how hard it is to get across a few cities nowadays. River, still so quiet, huh? Yeah, she's actually been talking about home and with Isabel. I guess she's just not used to you. <laughs> so I'm the bad guy here, huh? Oh, hey, so did you tell River that thing from back then? I did. So how did she take it? For the most part, she took it well. But something bugs me. Ever since the incident, she's been making these strange rabbits out of paper. Origami rabbits? Yeah, lots of them. I used to put origami animals for my daughter all the time. What's wrong with that? I don't think it's the same thing. But she's been doing nothing but making the same rabbits day in and day out. A house is literally filled with them now. Didn't Isabel say something like that is a common trait with River's condition? Yes, but something doesn't feel right this time. When I ask her about it, she never answers. Instead, she just gets this distant look in her eyes. It's almost as if she wants something from me. The strange thing is, I feel like there's something I owe her, too. Have you lost Isabel? Yeah, she said she talked to her about it, but got nothing. Well, I'm certainly not one to inquire, but I'll tell you this. I've known you since middle school, and you're notorious for overthinking. You're probably just imagining things. There's no need to get too worked up. Usually when someone says that, something's always wrong. But I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. You're probably right. Probably? I'm always right, John. Wait, so even he himself never knew what was up with those rabbits? Forget about the stupid rabbits. We've got bigger problems. It's a confined memory and there's no mementos anywhere. Don't worry, we can probably draw one out of him. How? Leave it to me, I'm just gonna 
I just gotta give the bartender a quick visit first. Hey there, can I get you anything? Hey, can I get a bottle of pickled olives, please? Sure, cash or credit? Check? Uh, I'm s we don't take checks. Uh, just put it on my tab then. Wait, does that mean you don't have any money? Yes, uh, we're getting resetted. <laughs> hey there, could I get you anything? Hello, can I get a bottle of pickled olives, please? Sure, cash or credit? Just put it on my tab. I feel like spending big today. Oh, thank you, sir. Here are your pickled olives. Thanks, bro. You'll be getting an enormous amount of tips today. Thank you, sir. Such an ass, Neil. I would loosen up. Why, is that a bottle of pickled olives you're sporting? Yeah, are you a fellow olive lover? Indeed I am, just got a fresh bottle of them myself, in fact. Mind if I join you? Sure, why don't you grab a seat? We'll dad on the bottle together. Oh, yeah, that sounds just swell. Eva, disable taste simulation now. Oh, Neil, I don't think I feel like it. I'm so gonna get you back for this. So that's how we got our first toaster. <sighs> Ah, uh, ach. You okay there? Yeah, I'm just savouring the amazingness of pickled olives. They're wonderful, aren't they? Yeah, I just can't understand how anyone could uh, find such things to be disgusting. Take your time, we've got two bottles left. <laughs> so I said, hey, that's not right. And they totally agreed. And you know what else is wrong with society today? Yeah, I actually have it right here, why? May I see it? Uh, okay. Here it is. And freeze. Finally, dear lord. <laughs> How are the olives, Neil? Oh, shut your mouth. Wait, don't you dare. Don't worry, sheesh. See? Doing it by the books. Hulk smash! Neil, seriously? I'm trying to get into this and you're roaring the mood. Totally worth it. Crikey, nutcrackers. You aren't Australian. No, I am. Who cares? We're like 20 billion nanometers off the ground and standing on a damn flagpole. Just jump down. It's not like you can be hurt here. Are you kidding me? It's a freaking skydive. You can't stay on here. You can't get off. God, I hate it when this happens. I swear if this... Hey, <laughs> but what the... Why would they abandon her like this? 
I suppose she's just no longer needed. No longer needed. By ships, I mean. You know how it is. Now that everything has GPS and all that. Look, river. This place means a lot to me too, and I've been thinking. In our current state, things have been pretty stable. If we save, well, in a few years, we could afford to put a house on top of here. It's going to be a squeeze, but I'm... We'd be able to see her from the window? In the morning, at night, we'd always be nearby. And, and we could walk here any time. You shouldn't have feel alone again, John. I'll be able to watch her over here every day. Yeah, we will. Good for them. You gotta be kidding me. You hear of what happens, don't you? It's like watching a train wreck. The ending isn't any more important than any of the moments leading to it. The important thing is that over here they're happy. Let's move on. Wait a minute. They were referring to the lighthouses on you, weren't they? I suppose so. And that river. She declined treatment for the sake of a lighthouse? Isn't that a bit too extreme? I've seen stranger things in the course of the job. Me too, but... I can never wrap my head around it. It's none of our business anyway. She's not our client. If this is let's just I just check that yellow paper rabbit dear lord not again what the fuck's he got against rabbits look at some freaking horror story that I didn't sometimes looking in this is a little weird I'm gonna be honest What's that? A box? New boxes of plain paper. Uh oh, I think I know where this is going. Can I check it? Huh? How the heck did they move this thing upstairs? 
Who knows, but I bet it'd be a piece of cake for the TARDIS. Not really. You can't even get it through its door. Hmm, true. Well, that settles it. Putting pianos is a pain in the ass for everybody. It'd probably take an entire episode to get it inside. <laughs> I wouldn't mind seeing such an episode. Me neither. It sounds pretty epic. I like how both of these people are complete nerds. Like, they're doctors, so, you know, you kind of expect it. But... You went out for a haircut this early in the morning? What are you making there? Rabbits. Did you see the rabbit I left for you? Yeah. Tell me about that rabbit. Huh? Describe the rabbit. Uh, it was yellow? What else? A bit puffy? And... Well, it's, it's just a paper rabbit. I, I don't know how else to describe it. You're acting strange, River. Is something wrong? River? I don't know about you, but I'm getting some inverse deja vu. I know of her condition, but this is rather odd even for that. You think she's... do you? Perhaps, who knows. But like you said, she's not our client. Let's just get all we're paid for over with. in the river of life prompt. It's kind of creepy. Okay, one, two, three, one, two, three. Shit. I think this is the proposal, maybe? This is where the house used to be, isn't it? The house that never should have been. I mean, really, what is it about unusually high and dangerous places that attract people? <laughs> Note, acrophobia.
this will go over to the lighthouse. That probably isn't closed yet. Yeah. Is that why you approached me back then? Yeah. What about now? I suppose just a part of it. Look, it was a long time ago. It's not too relevant now, but as he said, I should tell you the truth. I shouldn't have tainted our first meeting like that. I'm a little confused about that part. Oh, she's running off. Question mark. Oh, what's this? Was that a hacky sack? Can you throw this as far as where I'm, is that? I don't know. You want me to try? Would you? River! Are you insane? Get away from there. Far from the last. I think they may be connected. Probably. Cemento. Why does she cut her hair anyway? I like long hair. It's all of them. It's getting less hard to find the mementos. And... Everyone with it is different, John. Just because she and I share the syndrome doesn't mean we share the same head. But you must be able to help somehow. Everything was okay at first, but now she's even more aloof than before. This... yeah, it's getting further back. Even when we're in the same room, she's never really... there. It's starting to take a toll on me. I just don't know how to take it anymore. Well, I can speak for, can't speak for her, but many of us do long f for connections. Though being able to articulate it is a different story. Just because she struggles to express it, it doesn't mean she doesn't feel anything. She's still there, right? Sometimes you just have to have faith that she cares. It's pretty difficult to do day in and day out. I know. Is that Nick? Yeah. Wait, why do you seem so normal, Izzy? I mean, don't you have the same condition? For one, I was diagnosed when I was still young. With effort, it's not impossible to acquire a guise of norm social norms systematically. But you know what? I both envy and pity, River. 